Hello, this is Caleb Barney with Russell Real Estate, and today I wanted to do a quick market update for you. The date is Monday, March, I'm sorry, April 24th, 2023, and uh, basically the cr criteria I wanted to show you here was for all of the sold properties within the past 30 days, and then this is just going to be residential, so single family and condos. Uh, I didn't get into any multifamily or any commercial, anything like that, like um, you know, in this video here. So 746 sold properties on the MLS within the past month. And this is basically just showing the areas that I serve most. I do actually go outside of these areas as well. So I'll do some on the east side. Uh, I'll do some in Cuyahoga Falls and Akron area. But primarily, uh, these are the areas that I serve. So it's going to be essentially all of Medina County, um, Cuyahoga County, mo mostly focusing on you know the west side of Cleveland. Uh, we'll have the northeast portion of Lorain County, and then the northwest portion of Summit County. And essentially, let's see the uh, the results here. So I'm doing this real time with you, just so you know. Uh, we're going to do tabular, and this basic chart here, market analysis, how you read this is you don't read it um, as if it's all one house. So for example, the max bedrooms, six uh, six bedrooms, max bathrooms, eight bathrooms, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that this house was six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and almost 14,000 square feet. That just says that the maximum amount of bedrooms uh, was six, the maximum amount of bathrooms was eight, and the maximum amount of square footage was th basically 14,000 square feet, but it doesn't necessarily all have to be the same house. Oftentimes they are going to be that um, for the max or the min, but not necessarily. So that's just what we're looking at here. Um, the data that I like to look at because the maximum and minimums are going to be your outliers. Obviously, there's not very many 14,000 square foot houses around here. There's also not very many 525 square foot houses around here. Um, we don't see a ton of $20,000 sales or a ton of $2.5 million sales. So this is just the past 30 days, um, and that's why I like to look at the average and the median. Um, and I do look at both. So the median is basically going to be that middle point. So again, we were looking at like 700 and, you know, we'll just say 750, even though I know that wasn't the number. Um, so essentially, you'd be at that midpoint um, for the median. So it would be, you know, the 375th house, if I did my math correctly, had three bedrooms. It had two bathrooms, 1,600 square feet, sold. Um, and again, this isn't just saying that house individually, but it's saying the median, so 375th value out of all of the values, if you're numbering them from high to low for bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, each of these are individual categories. Um, but it is interesting to see that oftentimes it's, it's not terribly far away from the average. Uh, the reason why I don't look at the average quite as much is because you can have several outliers, uh, like a two and a half million dollar sale that bumps the average for everything else up, especially when you're looking at a shorter time period, like a 30 day window, as opposed to an entire year uh, or multiple year time span. So that's what we're looking at here. Um, the part that I wanted to really highlight here because people always ask, how is the housing market, is the days on market. So DOM, days on market, or CDOM is cumulative days on market. Um, I like looking at these numbers just because that really tells us, okay, are we in a seller's market? Are we in a buyer's market, a neutral market? And typically, um, you know, if you're under 30 days on market, it's just going to be a very, very... Uh, hot seller's market. And you could see that in those areas that I showed you earlier, we are at a median. So that means out of the 750 properties, 375 of them sold for or sold in 11 days or fewer. And then 375 of them sold in greater than 11 days. But that is our midpoint right there. Our average was 32 days on market. And again, that can be skewed 
Um, oh, by the way, 748 uh, for the total sales there. But that can be skewed for your averages when you have a few outliers that are at 473 days, for example. So either way you look at it, though, it is still a very hot seller's market. And that's why if you are thinking of selling your house this spring, um, it could be a very good opportunity to do so just because there's not a ton of competition on the market. So uh, interest rates are finally somewhat stabilizing. They still do shift around more than uh, they have in years past, but they're finally starting to stabilize. And as we get into the spring and summer market, that's when more and more buyers are starting to look to move um, for several reasons. So, I mean, whether they can take the time to see it because we have longer days, so more sunshine, better weather, so they actually are more incentivized to go out and look. Um, if they want to get a house under contract and move in and you know by the summertime or before the school season starts again, there's a variety of factors. But in general, in Northeast Ohio, uh, we really start to see the market pick up, especially in like right around Memorial Day. So if you want to beat that market and be one of the very few uh, people listing your home for sale, now could be a tremendous opportunity for you. Uh, if you have any questions on the Northeast Ohio market, feel free to reach out to me, whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, I'd be happy to help. Thanks, and have a great day.